you two pussyfooting around for her? Sneaking up on a fella like bushwhackers. I could have burned my tongue clean off. Oh, gosh, we didn't mean to scare you, Pete. We're just taking human interest pictures. Well, then go outside and take them, or you ain't underfoot. It's gonna be tough for winning that $25 from me figure, Joey. How are you gonna win $25? What's that? Well, that's a sizable piece of money for that gadget to be picking up for you. It's all here in the Capital City Journal, Pete. They're putting out a contest for the best human interest picture of the Old West. Well, why didn't you say so before? I'd be right glad to stand for a contest winning picture. But not in this old apron. Now, you, you'd want me to look like a real top hand, wouldn't you? Eh? <laughs> you were right the first time, Pete. We'll probably find lots more human interest outside. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I said I was willing for you to take my picture. Now go ahead. Take it. We already got one picture, Pete. And that's plenty. <laughs> What? How about that old rodeo poster sticking up in the side of the barn? It's got cowboys and Indians and... No, there's nothing human about a poster. Fury, how about him? No, we got too many pictures of Fury. Yeah, but how about one of them doing something special? The Capital City Journal says they want the pictures to have human interest. That means people. They think Fury was just a horse. Yeah. That's because they don't know him like we do. Yeah. Gosh, the whole trouble is, we're too young to remember what the Old West was really like. If we were old-timers like old Cardi, I bet you we'd know lots of things to photograph. Yeah, old Cardi sure knows about the old days. Pee Wee, you never said anything smarter in your whole life. Why, what'd I say? Old Cardi and his bro calamity. The vanishing American, last of the 49ers. Boy, I bet they'd really win that contest for us. Yeah. Boy, they're part of the Old West, all right. Yeah. Come on, let's go find them. Yeah. Mm, look at that color. The rest of this pile holds up. You and me got us a real bonanza calamity, old girl. This will make the lost Dutchman and the yellow astrid look like tin horn diggers. Oh, now, don't go shooting off your mouth like all jackasses. Singing out before you really know you got some. Catch up. Go get your own supper. Look! We found it! That's real Mother Lord Rock! <laughs> Joey! What is it, Mr. Carter? Look! It's just a couple of kids. Well, might just as well be an army. We can't make a move until they clear out of there. Yeah. <laughs> a real bonanza. That's great, Mr. Cardi. If anybody deserves to be rich, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Joey and me got a chance to be rich, too. And now don't tell me you two fellas staked out a gold mine, too. <laughs> Not exactly. But after we take your picture, we'll be a sense to collect the $25 prize. And that's almost as good as having a mine. And not half as much hard work. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You two, give me a solemn oath you'll keep your lips buttoned about my gold mine. I'll pose for you real pretty. Cross my heart. Joey? I promise. All right, then. What do I do? Here's the camera, Pee Wee. <laughs> All right, Mr. Carter. Get over here now. You're clowning me. All right. Come on. Come on. Come here. Here. And hold this gold sample. All ready, Pee Wee? There's something in the way. It's your thumb. How many times have I told you not to cover the lens? I'm sorry, Joey. All right, up, boys. I gotta get the to town register my claim. All right, Mr. Cardi, now smile. Oh, it. Got it. Well, partners, now that you got your prize winning picture, I gotta finish sticking out my claim. We appreciate your help, Mr. Cardi. What are you writing? My name and claim to the mine. Between that shadow and the sun is a. 
As near as I can figure, it's about 1.30. Thanks again, Mr. Carty. That's all right, boys. See you in the newspaper. <laughs> 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 Come on, Mr. Carty. Thanks, Bye. Jim. Come here, Emily. You and me are going to town. <laughs> the kids are leaving. <laughs> Looks like the old man's leaving, too. Then let's make sure it's for good. One jerk on this rope and the whole mountain will come down. You'll never know what hit him. Get ready. Here he comes now. All right, get ready. Come on, Calamity, come on! Now! Range light! May you rest in peace. Greg, I gotta hand it to you. Anybody come along here to think this was just a natural landslide? Yeah, they'd never suspect it was old Cardi's grave. Now, we better get back to mine and get rid of his claim marker. That's right. And I'll mosey into town and register it in our names, nice and legal-like. The Greg and Davis Mining Company. <laughs> Smoke, it looks like the whole mountain cut loose. Yeah, good thing we wasn't there when it happened. Well, I guess we'll just have to circle around and take the long way home. Yeah. Hey, Jim, look there. It's Calamity. Where's the old cart? Them two were over together like ham and eggs. Yeah. alive. Now, easy, Pete. Real easy. Joey, Pee Wee. Yes, Jim. In here on the double. I want to talk to you. I don't want any of that swill. Well, the boys are coming in. Now we'll find out whether or not they broke their promise to you. Well, and if they didn't spill the beans, who did? They were the only ones who knew about my striking it, Rich. You old buzzard, getting hit on the head made you sort of delirious. You didn't get bushwhacked. That landslide was a natural accident. What is it, Jim? Hey, what happened to you? Yeah, how'd you get hurt? Uh, hold the questions a minute, boys. Well, where did you two go today after you took Mr. Carty's picture? Up towards Indian Mountain. We wanted to finish off the rest of the roll. Yeah, now I can develop it without wasting any. Did you meet up with anybody? Just him. Well, Mr. Carty seems to think otherwise. He sort of has an idea that he was bushwhacked because you two spilled the beans about his claim. But we just told you. We never even saw anybody else. And even if we did, wild horses couldn't drag it out of us. We gave our solemn promise to keep it a secret. Well? I reckon that rock slide did sort of scramble up my thinking a bit. You boys will forgive me. I'll sure make it up to you. Oh, well, that's all right, Mr. Carty. But what happened? We'll be all right, boys. No, I'll be all right. Well, why don't you let Mr. Carty rest now? Go on and develop your pictures. Sure, Jim. Go get that claim registered. You sure got a one-track mind? You just got through admitting he was sort of scrambled. Oh, you old horn toad. I'll admit I was wrong about the boys. That don't mean I've gone completely daft. All right, now take it easy, you two. The doc will be here sometime tomorrow. If he okays it, you can head for town then. Oh, 
tomorrow it'll be too late. I tell you, Jim, that rock slide wasn't natural. Give me my pants. What for? You ain't going nowhere. I know it. I just want to get the paper I wrote the location on. There. Jim, if you file this claim for me, I'll give you a share. You never mind that, old timer. I'll file your claim. You just take it easy and rest. Let her drive, will you? Okay. Here's our prize winning picture. Gosh. What is it? What is it? You spoiled it. I told you to keep your thumb out of the lens. Just look at that shadow right across his face. The whole thing's spoiled. Gosh, I'm sorry, Joey. I was sure I had my thumb out of the way. I'm sorry. Oh, forget it. We might as well forget that contest, too. There goes our twenty-five dollars. Well? Jim, did you file a claim? No, not quite. What do you mean, not quite? You ever hear of a couple of fellas named Greg and Davis? No. Who are they? Well, it appears that they beat you to filing on your location. Beat me? That's right. Greg and Davis Mining Company. Why, them bushwhacking claim jumpers. I'll get them poison sidewinders. I'll put the law on them. I've already spoken to the sheriff, Cardi. Those two men have the law on their side. Tell you, I never heard of them. That mine belongs to me. I worked it single-handed from a hole in the ground. What right they got to file on my claim? Well, that's what we've got to find out. And I don't need to find out. I'll blast them claim jumpers right off the map. Oh, now. You can't take the law in your own hands, you know. Well, they did. You left me out there for buzzard meat under a pile of rocks. Look, if we can just find a way to prove that you found that claim first, you'll get your mind back. I ain't got no proof, except my word. Who believe that? We would. And you're just a couple of nice guys, but you ain't a court of law. Uh, all my life, I've been dreaming about striking it rich. Now that the chips is down, and the folks will still think I'm dreaming. I ain't got as much chance of getting any proof as you. Lamb chop in a cougar's mouth. He, Jim, anybody, Pete. So worst about that. Besides, if I sent that one in, it'll make it look like I'm bragging. Gosh, if we could only use this one of old Cardi. Oh, you can stare at it all you want, but you can't erase that shadow. Joey, look at here. Here's my thumb and there's the shadow. They don't match. It couldn't have been my thumb that made the shadow. Well, then what did? Else. You see anything? Pee-wee, did anyone ever say you were beautiful? Well, I heard my dad say I was a beautiful baby. I'm not talking about you. It's a shadow I'm talking about. It's not your thumb. What is it? My whole hand? 
No, it's the shadow of the clay marker. What's the difference? It still spoils the picture. Forget about us. It's old Cardi I'm thinking of. Remember when he wrote on the paper back at the mine? Yeah. He said something about the shadow and the sun telling the time. Yeah, I remember. It was 1.30. That's right. And the shadow on this picture is not an ordinary shadow. It, it's like a sundial. Hey. And this picture's the record of what time he set up his claim. That's right. It might just be the proof to get old Cardi's mind back. Come on. He's not here. And neither are his clothes. Pete's gun. It's gone. He always keeps it here. But what would old Cardi want that for? To chase the claim jumpers away from his mind. We better catch him before he gets in more trouble. Once we blast open the vein in there, we'll be able to hand pick the gold. You sure we're doing the right thing? I wouldn't want this whole place to cave in on us. I told you before, all we have to do is blast off the face of one wall. And have I got anything to say about it? Yeah, you jumping murderers. I got you dead to rights. Carly, in person and not a ghost. You thought you killed me, didn't you? You murdering varmints. Now get off my property. According to law, this is our property. You've got just 10 seconds to buy a moose. One. Two. Okay, okay. Got to get the dynamite out of there. I'll take care of that later. Now put up your hands. And get. Your 10 seconds is up. that landslide, but he sure ain't gonna walk away from this mine. What are we gonna do with him? How is we to know that he'd sneak back into the mine when we exploded that dynamite? Uh, I don't know, Craig. Grab his legs. This rope is going to lead us to a couple of claim jumpers. Come on. Come on, come on, hurry up. Come on, hurry it up, will you? All right, that does it. Hey, it's those kids again. Hi. This is private property. You kids are trespassing. What do you want? Do you know a man by the name of Cardi? Never heard of him. We were looking for him, and he said he was coming up here. Well, you don't see him around here, do you? Now, stop bothering us. Take it easy, Davis. Say, uh, you kids ever blow up any dynamite? Why? Well, if you want to, you can press down this plunger. Just let her go and watch the fireworks. Hey, Joy, that's Pete's rifle. Grab him. Fury! Get the gun, Fury. Mr. Cardi! Mr. Cardi! Don't move now. Get your hands up. That means both of you. If you drop that rifle, kid, or I'll blow that mind to kingdom come. You 
You can't. Joe isn't there. I'll give you just 10 seconds to drop that rifle and call him out of there. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Where are those two boys? Up there. Get going. Jim! This rope you two left around that rock could easily have been a hangman's noose for you. I don't know what you're talking about, mister. But when I get through having a law after you and them two kids... You'll be in the state penitentiary! Here's the proof, Jim. It shows just what time of day Mr. Carney said his claim. <laughs> the way you and Pee-wee and Fury handled this, the rest of us could have stayed home in bed. <laughs> At least wise I could have. <laughs> All right, you two, let's get your claim filed with the sheriff. Yeah. Well, I might not win any contest with this picture, but it'll always be in first place as far as I'm concerned. Oh, Peewee, Joey, that's only a smidgen of appreciation for what you two boys did. Gosh, twenty-five dollars! Twenty-five dollars? This sure beats one of the contests. Oh, you're both winners to me. Gosh, it was Fury who really stopped the claim jumpers. Ooh, well, I, I ain't forgot him. Look at the back end of the station wagon. Looks <laughs> 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 like Fury's got his prize already. <laughs> 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 <laughs>